Hey friends, kind of feeling a bit down, not massively down, but a bit down anyway, because I just found out that a band that I somehow neglected to tell you about on this specific channel, even though if you've been following me since I began YouTube, you will have seen their videos all over the other two, um, Pearl and the Beard from Brooklyn, New York, have decided to call it quits. And if you've known me over the last eight years, you'll have known that they were very important to me. They are a lovely three-piece that I've been friends with literally since I found out who they were back in the day when I saw one of their videos on YouTube, uh, a Will Smith medley. And then I went on to MySpace when that was still a thing. And I listened to their music and I was talking to my friends Kelly and Jess and we were listening to all their songs excitedly as we were experiencing this beautiful unknown and learning more and I remember reaching out to the band members and they were still fresh and new and excited and I think I was probably their first overseas fan and it was all nice and new and then I happened to be out in New York and they were playing a show and it was in New Jersey but I went along I met up with a guy that I'd made friends with on Twitter called Ted and the two of us went along and we watched them perform in this place and as soon as I got to the venue and I kind of walked over Jocelyn was like wait are you John Barker and she came over and she gave me this great big embracing hug and I walked over and I talked to Jeremy and I talked to Emily and they played their whole set and they kept dedicating songs to me and talking away and they were just so excited about this change and I was so excited to see them. This song is called Vessel and it's from our album. God bless you, Ray Soul, Amanda Richards, which is back there. And if any of you are on our mailing list, please. Can you sign up? We will email you at your dad's UK email address. <laughs> I've seen them so many times and I've featured them on various different channels and it's through them that I got to see Bastille and experience that for the first time and it's through them that so many good memories and friendships were formed and it's through them that so many of my other friends have got to really start to understand and experience what New York was about, why I loved the New York music scene so much. And whilst they're still friends and they're going to be doing other projects, which are things that I'm happy and excited to know, it does make me sad to know that I'm not going to get to see them live again. They play their last show in November in New York and I just, I won't be out there by then. So as they are, as an entity, I won't get to see that again. And so I've got to sort of say my peace and say my farewells. That said, it does also mean that I've had the time to go back and look through all the different things that I've shot over the, the last eight years that I've seen and grown. I literally met them in person the day after I was first introduced to using Canon 5Ds and working with film cameras, uh, film DSLRs. I moved on from the cameras I was using at the time, which were kind of point and shoot uh, Canon IS 100s or something like that, to these other cameras because people like Pearl and the Beard were people I wanted to be filming and working with and taking better photos of and I wanted to be able to capture their kind of music better and I wanted to improve myself and they've been there as I've, as I've improved, as I've experimented with things and they've been so supportive and loving and such wonderful human beings and I'm just basically I'm wishing them the best for the future. They have a new album coming out called Beast which they did through Pledge. Um, you can listen to that and buy that if you want. You can check out some of their other stuff and I'm going to put in the, the thing below a list of songs and videos of theirs that I think that you'll enjoy as well as videos that I've shot over the years of them performing. Um, so maybe you can go through part of that journey with me. And I feel sorry that I've not 
told you more about them in the past. I used one of their songs, um, one of Jocelyn's songs actually, uh, called Yawning, in a montage of Friends a year back. But I'd never really used more, and I really just think you guys should know more about them. So yeah, there'll be information below. I've loved them with all my heart for eight years, and I will continue to love the music and the individuals, and I wish them well in, in the future. Jocelyn, Jeremy, Emily, you've been wonderful, and I hope that the next few years are as enjoyable and full of experiences that are fresh and great experimentation as the last eight were. You're beautiful people and you mean a lot to me. Lots of love, John. Thank you. 